video, I'm going to show you how you can use barcodes in Google Docs or Google Slides. So first, I'm going to create my template. So real quickly, I'm just going to create a new slideshow. I'm going to change the size of this because I want it to be a full page. So I'm going to insert a text box. And turn a number or letters or whatever into a barcode. Then you're going to have to go to the fonts and click more fonts. And you're going to look for the Libra. And I already have that one installed. So that's why it's not showing up. So you're looking for the Libra barcode 39 or Libra barcode 39 text um, the difference between those two uh, the one that says text that's going to have the barcode and then underneath it's going to show you what is barcoded so I already have those added to my fonts so um, the next step is you can type in your uh, what you want to be barcoded but you need to surround that with an asterisk so if I wanted to turn this number into a barcode, I'm going to surround it with asterisks. Um, so um, I'm going to actually increase this size just a little bit more. Um, let's go 36. And then I'm going to choose my barcode font. So there's Libra without the text. And then I'll show you what the what it looks like with the other barcode font. So you can see it puts the number below the barcode. So that is how you can create barcodes in Google Docs or Google Slides. So if you were doing this in a Google Doc, it would be the same process with you making sure that you surround your text or your numbers with asterisks and then select the Libra barcode 39 font. In the next video, I wanna show you how you can use the Autocrat Google Sheets extension to do a mail merge. So now I want to show you how you can use Autocrat, the Google Sheets add-on, to create mail merge documents. So we use this when we are collecting Chromebooks to generate the check sheets that are personalized for each student. We also use this at the beginning of the year to hand out new students information cards so we can scan those easily with their student ID number as well as their grade. So this is what our Chromebook collection check sheet looks like and this is in Google Doc. So you can see I already have my merged fields here. Um, so I have a patron name. In Autocrat you have to surround the fields that you're going to merge the data with with greater than and less than symbols so double double those on each side and for my barcode if I want that data to be turned into a barcode I still have to do the same thing and in my previous video I showed you how that you can turn numbers or letters or combinations of both into barcodes using the Libra barcode 39 font that's available in the fonts in Google. So with this in the Autocrat, you still have to use the asterisks and you can't see those since they're masked with the, the barcode font. But you have to go ahead and surround your merge field name with the greater than and less than symbols, double those. And then outside those, you're gonna have to put the surround that with the asterisks. Okay, so we have a merge field here, which that's the student ID number. And then we have the asset number of the Chromebook 
and we have that also with the barcode. And you also can see down at the bottom, we do have some other merge fields that are not barcoded. Um, we have the Chromebook type and we have the grade level. So let's get started and I will show you how that you can use Autocrat to generate personalized pages or personalized check sheets for your students or other individuals. So first you need to go and open up your spreadsheet that has the data that you want to merge. So I already have one as an example here. So I went ahead and did that. So let's go ahead and get into the Autocrat add-ons. I'm gonna click add-ons in Google Sheets. If you don't already have this add-on, you're gonna have to click get add-ons. And recently Google has restricted this in the G Suite for Education plan. So if your district is using G Suite for Education, your admin, your technology director will have to enable Autocrat to be able to be used in the add-ons for you to be able to access it. So in Autocrat, I'm going to click launch and then want to create a new job. And this can be whatever you want to name it so that you can easily know what this job is. So I'm just going to call this Chromebook data sheet and then I'm going to click next. Now we're going to pick our template. So our template would be our Google Docs. So I'm going to click from drive. And then if it doesn't show up, in your recents you can search for it but luckily mine showing up here so I can easily access it I'm gonna select it it's added it. now I'm gonna click next and then for merge tab if it doesn't already show up this you're gonna have to click merge tab sheet and choose the sheet that you're wanting to use as your merge fields and then if your data does not start on row 2 like the default then you can change that what I like to do here is look to see if it has mapped my fields correctly so patron name maps to patron name SSID maps to SSID so all that looks uh, good to go if it did not show up anything in maps to column then you're gonna have to click on the drop down and select which column you want this tag to map to. I'm going to click next and I'm going to give this a file name so I'm going to call this Chromebook data you can use if you want to have it generate the name of the field if you're using this as individual documents um, or um, pages then you could go ahead and insert a tag that you mapped before um, and that way it will name the file, the document or slideshow, whatever that you're using with that piece of data that you've mapped. But for this purpose, I'm not going to make it generate individual uh, documents. Um, I'm going to make it do it as a single output mode like down here so the difference between these two things multiple output mode that means that if our template was Google Docs then for each line of data it's going to create a separate Google Doc file single output mode means that if I had 25 lines of or rows of data here then it's going to create one document with 25 pages. So that's what I'm going to be using for uh, the purposes of the check sheet so that I can print those out. You can also make this turn these into PDFs. I'm going to click uh, next. Um, I, before I um, move on, when you choose single output mode, you can choose whether you need to add page breaks between the data rows. So by default, it says yes. So we're going to leave that as yes so that each, each student will have a check sheet page. 
Now you're gonna choose what folder you want this to go into. So by default, it will choose one for you. You can delete this, you can have it go into multiple folders, or you can choose your own folder. I'm gonna sort of leave it going in this folder for our purposes today. I'm gonna to click next. Dynamic folder reference. You can have it depending on a column, you can have it go into a separate folder based upon uh, the data. I steer clear of this um, because I don't really need that for the purposes of this. So I'm going to go and click next. You can set merge conditions. So once again, this is based upon um, your data so that depending on the rule that you set up, it will choose to create a document or choose to do something different. Once again, for these purposes, I steer clear of that um, option. And the next frame is share docs and send emails. If you were generating this as going to individual users, then you could click yes to share the doc and then you would be able to let this share each individual document. The purpose is I'm gonna not share the document because I'm only generating this from myself. Okay, so I'm gonna click next. And this is where you can add the job trigger. So if you did set this up as a Google form and you want this to run each time that the form um, has an entry, then you could choose yes. You can also uh, run a time trigger so that it runs autocrat this job at a certain time interval. Once again, for these purposes, I'm gonna leave those all no because I'm going to run this manually. So I'm gonna click save. So now it's set up my job. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. So I'm gonna hit the play button and it will run my job. Now, if you have lots of rows of data, it may take it a while to run. So since this one only had one line of data, it ran pretty quickly. So this gives you a direct link to that document. So if I click on this, this is gonna take me to my merged document. And you can see that it has merged successfully all my data. So there's my asset barcode. This should be the student's ID number. So if you scan this with a barcode scanner, it should be correct. And then it's merged my other data here. This is how you can use Autocrat to generate documents from data in a spreadsheet and also how you can use the Libra barcode font to turn some data into scannable barcodes. I'm Adam Wiseman. You can follow me on Twitter, the Wiseman. MC.